Happy weekend, everyone. Hope you've all had a good Friday so far. Of course, we woke up today knowing that it's going to be Big Duncan Ferguson who's in charge for tomorrow's game, Goodison Park, 12.30 kickoff against Chelsea. So they don't come too much bigger than games like that for, you know, your first and possibly his only game in charge. We know, of course, that it's not going to be a long-term solution. Um, the club are... I've heard various names thrown about today, but to be honest with you, I'm trying not to look too much into that because, sorry, just my low battery come up on the screen. I'm trying not to look too much into that because I haven't a clue. Uh, I thought it was going to be Moyes, but now the fact that it's not been announced yet, I, I don't actually have a clue how it's going to go. Um, but we'll leave them to that. <laughs> There's nothing more we can do. Uh, other than get behind big Duncan Ferguson tomorrow. So we've found out as well today, of course, that it's going to be John Eberl, Alan Kelly and Francis Jeffers as well, who've made the step up from the under-23s for this game to help Duncan Ferguson uh, manage the side. So it was his press conference today and I enjoyed it, to be honest with you. I thought he said all the right things. You can tell that it genuinely really, really means something to him and he's genuinely really honoured to have been given this opportunity that when he was asked, he didn't know too much about it by the sounds of things, but they said, you know, you're coming in for the Chelsea game, and he said he didn't hesitate for a second, it's an honour. And that's what we need, we've lost too much of that. It feels lately like, you know, people aren't aware of what a huge privilege it is to be a part of this club at whatever capacity, you know, and to see Dunk in there, I think that's something that we can all agree on. You'd struggle, <laughs> you'd struggle to find a player as I said yesterday, prepared to go back down into the into the dressing room and face him at half time or full time, thinking that they hadn't give absolutely everything that they've got. You just couldn't do it, could you? Can you imagine? I would be terrified. Um, but we love him, and as I said, it, obviously he's got the backroom staff in there, who a few more Ever ex Everton players in there as well that will know Duncan very well as well, and will know of course what the fans will want to see, what the fans expect in terms of, you know, uh, work ethic and, and drive and effort put in. Because don't get me wrong, we've been, we've been talking about the lack of effort, the lack of fight, the lack of desire. And there's no two ways that the two, you know, that being tied in with low confidence and the back of defeat after defeat after defeat, it all ties in. But there comes a point where you have to go, right, you're professional footballers, you're getting an awful lot of money, your job is to play football. You're playing other football teams. You can't just forget what you're doing. Like, he just needs to go in and, and whip them up, whip them right up and say, you go out there and you give the fans so much. And he'll be telling them that he's played there plenty of times and he knows full well that you go out there and you fight for that shirt and you get stuck in, get flying and get them first tackles in, be first to the second ball all the time. You know, be winning everything, sorry. Be first to the ball, be winning the second balls, be winning everything be direct, be going at Chelsea, um, and and the fans will react to that. We know that going in there in the first place, the atmosphere is going to be rocking because we're we're behind Big Dunk, first and foremost. We're behind Everton, we're Evertonians, we're behind that team and we're behind our man in Big Dunk and Ferguson. Um, you know, someone who, who who's proud to be there and proud to be managing the club even if it is just for one game to to have that means the world to him and that's what we need right now um of course it's not the long-term solution as i said leave them to crack on with that um it'll be interesting to see how he sets up tomorrow i know a few people are quite keen to see us go 4-4-2 i myself would also be in favor of seeing that i wouldn't mind seeing moise keen of course he missed a guilt edge opportunity against them on uh, Wednesday, that would have made it 4-3 with about 10 minutes to go. Who knows? But listen, he's not been playing enough, has he? So I wouldn't mind seeing him start alongside DCL. Um, it's fantastic to see that Bernard's back fit and available. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll leave that We'll leave that to, to Ferguson. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what team he picks, to be honest, and just getting right behind him. And I actually think tomorrow, I've got a feeling, I don't want to look like a mug afterwards, as happens so often, but I've got a feeling that we'll get something from the game tomorrow. If, if we could get a win, that would just be fantastic. I mean, at the moment, we desperately need the three points. Not just getting a positive result, you know, in terms of, you know, let's get a, let's get a good a, a good performance and a draw. I think right now, you, you know, that it obviously could be a lot worse than that. But we need the points. We're in the relegation zone. It's a home game. Chelsea are a really good side. Um, they'll be buoyed, of course, 
they've no doubt it's given them a bit of a spring in the step to hear that their transfer ban's been halved. They'd had a bit of a tricky run and, and a bit of a mixed bag of results lately, but they did get back to winning ways against Aston Villa in the week, so that will have given them massive confidence as well. They'll be wary, no doubt, of the new manager bounce that occurs and Frank Lampard will be talking to them about that. But it will certainly be interesting to see Frank Lampard um, and Big Duncan Ferguson in the, in the dugouts tomorrow. And I just can't wait to get back in there because I know because of it being him that's in charge, I know we all know that the fans are going to be right behind and chanting the old Duncan song, Duncan had a pigeon and all this stuff. And I just can't wait. Like It will just be like having our team back. Um, and, you know, it, it probably will feel a bit nostalgic and a bit a bit surreal and a bit strange. And we know it's it's just a one-off. But let's let's do our bit. Get right, right behind them. And we all know, we see it time after time, when Goodison is rocking and we hear it from players of the opposition, um, when that place is rocking, it is so damn hard to play. Unfortunately, it's been hard for our players to play there recently because there's obviously bound to have been a toxic atmosphere given the terrible run of results we've had and the, and the poor showings from the team as well. So it's bound to have got toxic. But tomorrow we claim our grand old lady back. Uh, we get that place rocking. We make it intimidating and hard for Chelsea to play there. Um, and we get at them and we, and we try and get the win. There's, that's what we have to do. We have to go out there and try and get the win. And I just have this feeling... It we we God knows we do something as fans as well, um, and for for Duncan Ferguson as well. What a story that would be! That'd just be so fantastic. And these players need they need to show everyone as well because obviously they're being slagged in the press. And I think people are saying as well maybe it's a bit harsh on Silver. Maybe maybe the players have to look at themselves and did they do enough for him, etc. Ultimately, you know he's the man in charge and he was going to be the one that got the sack. But the players. We see, and I'm not just talking about Everton either, I'm talking in general here with, with the Premier League and just modern day football, that we see players get away with more, it's the way it goes, but let's, let's hope that atmosphere tomorrow and the fact that they've got something to prove to, to the media, to pundits as well, everyone who's saying they're rubbish and they've not been good enough, hopefully, if, if nothing else, um, that'll give them a bit of fire in the belly, but if they can't get a fire in the belly, excuse me, shaking the camera all over the place, for a rocking Goodison Park... With him in the helm, that man there, big Duncan Ferguson, um, then then we've got. Pff, I know we I know we've obviously got problems, but it's bigger problems than I thought. If we don't see that team giving it everything tomorrow, and I expect nothing less. The big man will expect nothing less. Um, enjoyed his pre press conference today, saying about how we need that fight, how we need that desire. I think he composed, he handled himself well and composed and. Yeah, let's get back in there tomorrow. Of course, Chelsea have got great players. Tammy Abraham right near the top of the goal scoring charts at the moment behind Jamie Vardy. You've got uh, Mason Mount in there as well. Fantastic young players who've, who've come through. And of course, Kurt Zuma, who we desperately wanted to sign. And who knows, um, I'm not saying it would have made everything completely different, but it certainly would have been uh, interesting to see how we'd have fared Having signed him, I think we all had our hopes set on that and thought it would happen. Obviously, it didn't, and it's caused us problems. But we've got a lot of love for Kurt, so be nice to see him back. Just good that it's not going to be in a royal blue shirt of Everton. Um, but he's not too upset, though. Now, it, it'll be made up, no doubt, to come back to the place. And um, the only other thing is it's Tim Cale's birthday today, 40th, which I couldn't believe, and I thought... That would have been boss. In my personal opinion, I know some people say, oh, you can't just be sentimental and throw people in because of what, but he's obviously uh, within the club at the moment with the academy and stuff, and just to see, to go from being so disconnected to just looking at that dugout and seeing big Duncan Ferguson and Kale giving it limbs and screaming would have been, would have been quite something, but no. Big Dunk's in charge. Can't wait to get right behind the team. Can't wait to get back in there and feel a happy, positive, positive atmosphere, and hopefully that will carry the team to to get a much needed uh, result. Also, just really, really quickly, I had an email to say I'd, I'd reached um, a thousand subs. So nice one for that, because I still don't really know fully what I'm doing with this YouTube. I just pick up my phone and chat, but I've got plenty of ideas. As I keep saying, it's just been such a manic time for me of late. Like you wouldn't believe some of the stuff that's been going on. Um, so hopefully I'll have more content and, and a few new bits and bobs coming your way soon but yeah cheers to anyone who subscribed and positive feedback 
trolls, negative feedback, whatever, I appreciate. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. So nice one, guys, and see you tomorrow up the toffs.